internet wrestling fans too. My money in the bank edition of my Roll of the Dice's pay-per-view review. Hosted, concepted, and executed by me, the Wrestling Shuffler. If this game, this kind of review, if you aren't seeing this for the first time, shame on you. You have a lot of cool stuff that I have you can watch and basically this is how it works by rolling the number of these here dice I gave my own personal thoughts on what was overplayed well done what I didn't like and what I did like about money in the bank this year according to the roll up number of these here dice that's why I call the roll of the dices. Duh. Now, let's start. Rolling up the dices. First, I'm gonna say what I thought was overplay. So, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine things that were overplayed. John Cena climbing up the ladder. John Cena, F you, Orton, F you, other guy. John Cena winning the WWE World Wrestling Championship for some reason. That was I thought was overplayed. Second thought I thought was overplayed was another Daniel Bryan pre-show segment. Daniel Bryan didn't do much from what I saw of what I didn't saw. The only thing I thought was entertaining about this was Bo Dallas and ho <laughs> ho. Boulder, 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 Boulder. I thought we had a PG era. Apparently not in all cases. So Daniel Bryan, that was lame. Um, sixth thing I found overplayed about this, probably the way that the first Money in the Bank or the first ladder match ended. Kane interference, whatever. Seventh thing I thought was overplayed. Another page victory. Enough said. Eighth thing I thought was overplayed about this pay per view. Probably. Oh, yeah, the Usos won again. Ooh, so crazy. You're trying fucking crazy with not getting the Wyatt's their titles. Okay, eighth thing I thought was overplayed, probably the Van Dyke stick. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the ninth thing and final that I thought was overplayed, probably uh, the segment between Stephanie McMahon and the bell that got fired. Overplayed, didn't do much. Just to waste my time. Now, it's time, uh, time to roll up and talk, talk what I thought was well done. Okay, five, six, seven. Seven things I thought was well done at this pay-per-view. Seth Rollins winning the match. I thought was very cool. The way that Dean Ambrose sold his elbow injury. And the resistance he presented against the referees and whatnot was very good. The the stuff that um, the sexual taunt and the segment between uh, Summer Rae and Layla were very awesome. I thought that their match should have been just sexual stuff, since uh, Daniel Bryan all bring up the boner. Fourth thing I thought was over. The well done was the placement of Bo Dallas in the Daniel Bryan segment. Bo Dallas is an ingenious ill character because only for this reason to make it short. Bo Dallas is a jerk without being offensive jerk. He doesn't say, "Oh, you suck. You're better. I'm this. I'm that." No. By being delusional, by being freaking out of his mind, with giving good advice, 
or motivational advice. That's the heal part. I mean, that's genius for me. I left my freaking head off, and Bo Dallas is a genius character, in my opinion. And freaking well done. I love Bo Dallas, and I certainly believe. Okay. Uh, that was the fourth, I believe. Fifth thing I found was over. Uh, well done, damn botches. Uh, the match between Paige and Naomi. That was this. Is, was a freaking well done match. Well executed technique. Naomi is freaking good. Paige is not slouch either. Although that botch in the top rope. Ugh, that. One of the best Divas matches I've seen in a pay-per-view in a very long time, I must say. Sixth thing I found was well done about this. Um, uh, probably some of the ice spots by Seth Rollins were very well done, very impactful. Uh, seventh thing I thought was. But very well done was the match in the spear by Big E and Rusev. And Lana with this crush! Rusev! Crush! Very entertaining. Lana makes me freaking laugh. My attempt at not make me chuckle about Lana is being resist. This is futile. I'm in fire. Damn, man. That was freaking funny. Okay. Um, right now, I'm gonna say what I personally liked about this money in the bank. The rock that I said. Okay, okay, four, four, four. We have four. What is another number? Two, four, two, four, two. I might not be good at math, but I believe that six things I didn't like. Uh, what I didn't like, Layla winning for some reason. The segment between the way Stephanie McMahon and the other Bella just got add out for no reason. S Damien Sand out, don't like it. Fourth thing probably was, uh, the match, the WWE World Championship match, I didn't like. Fifth thing I didn't like, uh, personally, Dean Ambrose never got revenge to Kane. I believe he should have screwed that up. Uh, sixth thing I didn't like, probably. Uh, what I didn't like about this. Probably was uh, right back so against uh, Ziki Stardust and Goldust, whatever. I didn't like it. I thought it was too repetitive, or should I say, too overplayed. Now, the final stuff is what I did like. things I personally liked Bud Ellis, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose was three of these guys' performance, RVD's performance was freaking good. Fifth thing I've liked was the suspense that the authority made when John Cena won. That was a feeling I bet not only touched me but every single one person that watched Money in the Bank and saw the same predictable result. Uh, not able to say about that. The second and final thing I didn't like probably was the big he forced preacher to the choir, brother. We are American and all that stuff. That's one thing I didn't like. Right now, so. Uh, in general, I thought this was a pay-per-view that for its lack 
of build up these offered some really good matches really freaking well executed matches uh, they should have done more with the Layla and Summer A. Uh, Dean Ambrose should have concentrated on Broken Seth's face, concentrating on the face in his in-ring psychology that I thought could be much more well executed. Uh, but in general, this is not a half bad pay-per-view for my expectations. So, this has been... The Wrestling Shuffler Delivering you another Roll of the Dice's pay-per-view review for you guys. Hope you like it. Share your Roll Your Dice's about this in the comments, in the video response. Share my channel, share my, spread my page. You know, do all kinds of things that make my channel shuffle and roll. Also, i like to give a very thank you and much appreciation to... Okay, Fabe. Uh, okay, Fabe. You're freaking awesome, man. Uh, I can't tell. This guy is freaking awesome. Okay, Fabe. Sergio Flores, Michael Miner, all you freaking guys are freaking awesome for giving this chance, this channel a gamble. All of the lack are few gambles. I have mainly the shuffling gamble Q and A. I home to you guys. The on the end of the rope show. I have to thank these guys for supporting me, for giving me a shout out and out to then. You Zach You have my Alice. But anyway, um Apart that dirt sheet mania, I believe uh or I believe some some bury some queen of shuffle ants gave me support as well. Uh, I'm doing a lot of botch Scott Steiner right now. This is all I want to say is thank you very much, guys. I appreciate every support of I can get from this channel. And you gotta know one thing about this is don't mistake support with friendship. When I say I appreciate your support, all I'm saying is I appreciate every comment, every shout out, every one sort of thing that I'm doing. I appreciate the feedback. That's all. Because I've been a fan of all different stuff. And sometimes it makes fandom with somebody really cares about you as a person. I don't care f in some degree for anyone in particular. I appreciate all equally good feedback i appreciate my first subscriber angie uh that beautiful punk you should check her out as well and that's all the shuffle is with me this has been the rest of shuffle and all i gotta say is and that's good that was crooked